Hey guys, Baron here. And today, we're here with our... Oh, so I was gonna say question of the day, but that's not what we're doing today. We're doing a Q&A. Yes, we recently hit 100 subscribers, which is very, very fun and very, very, very um, cool for our channel, so to speak, to say the least. And uh, therefore, today, we're bringing you a Q&A. Uh, I am tired as hell. I slept zero hours a day, but I have my tea, so I'm good to go, and I am on another dimension right now, but we're just going to do this. Just, just, like, breathing on that air, on, on the tea, just great. So I just want to take the opportunity to, well, get this sort of boring and uninteresting things out of the way. First of all, thank you guys for leaving your comments and your questions. I really do appreciate that and that just helps us have a more interesting video today. And also, of course, I want to thank you guys yet again for 100 subscribers. It's amazing how fast this channel has grown. It's fucking mind-blowing. And it's all thanks to you guys. So thank you so much for that. But let's, let's not focus on the boring stuff. Let's actually get into the Q&A. The first uh, question comes from Games, Comics, and Culture, and they are saying, The official congrats on 100. Well, thank you. I'm really, I really do appreciate that. Um, so what do you plan to do to get to 1000? Okay, so you mean strategies, I'm presuming. Not what I'm actually going to do as a celebration to that 1000. Uh, but if, we, if you're talking about strategies or what I'm going to do uh, to get to 1000 subscribers, it's really to keep on doing the videos I love, and keep on going, doing the content that I love, uh, keep on growing uh, confidence behind the camera, and uh, just generally developing as a content creator. But like, obviously you can't only have that. Um, marketing is a very important perspective about that too, and I'm sort of gone into that recently, and I sort of learned the basics and the know-hows of how to market the channel. Um, so honestly, to keep on doing those things, and ho honestly, and hopefully, to do some collabs with some very, very awesome people in the future, uh, those would honestly be the ways that I would keep on growing our channel, and hopefully that's a formula for her success, really. So that's really the answer to your question. It was a good question. Uh, the next question comes from Apocalyptic, and let me, let me get this right. Apocalyptic Animatics Game Mapping. Apocalyptic Animatics Mapping. Damn, that's a tongue twister. Okay, so he says, Hey bro, congrats on 100 subs. Well, thank you, I really appreciate that. Uh, so my question for you is, how old are you? I just turned 20. Um, but like, five days ago, yeah. Uh, that's a, that's an answer for you. Um, what, software do you what software do you use for videos? Uh, to edit. I mean, I, I'm using uh, Movie Maker right now, but if I'm doing this correctly and in the right order, I should be using Adobe Premiere Pro uh, to re record this video and uh, basically every other video from now on. Uh, so I'm just in a transition of um, changing editing programs, which is really exciting. I'm really, really excited about uh, getting to try the new software and getting to like able to do more things because that's always fun. Uh, movie makers very very restrictive when it comes to that. You, you, you're only allowed to do so many things with it and it's very like it's very limiting. Uh, so doing something that allows me more opportunities to um, well essentially show, show my creati creativity for YouTube uh, will be super fun. Um, and uh, he also asked what is your plan for your channel from now onwards? Honestly, like I said, to just keep on doing content that I love, uh, but also, uh, on, oh, I mean, of course, keep on expanding the channel and, um, you know, find things I love uh, more and more. I found my niches, but I need to, like, I need to find the videos that I'm really drawn to, to doing and um, just focus on doing those and focus on doing them really good. That's honestly what I'm going to do for the channel from now on. Um... So yeah, that's his questions. Uh, thank you very much for those questions. I really do appreciate that. Uh, next question comes from Levity. Uh, grats he says, Grats on 100 subs again, again, pal. Well, thank you. I really do, really do appreciate that. It's, it's fun. 
It's good shit. Uh, so he, he asks, here's my question. What's your favorite mod to use competitively? Um, I have a lot of mods I like to use competitively. Um, one mod that I've really discovered that I definitely like using competitively just in a tournament um, format, so to say, is Quillfish. Uh, I use him on my raid team on PSL right now. And he's definitely like, I don't, I, I'm not sure he's a, if he's the kill leader on my team. But I would say he's he's got the more most consecutive kill streak. Uh, and as long as you bring a Swift to him, uh, Aqua Jet, Scald, and Poison Jab, Quillfish in there, or Choice Band, Quillfish, that speed and that attack, respectively, is just gonna do so much for your team. And the good thing, the fun thing about Quillfish is that I, I feel like, I've said this before, but I'll say, I'll say it again, uh, that I feel like people really underappreciate him when it comes to a like, competitive setting. Um, so it really allows you to mess with your opponents. Uh, I, for example, used Destiny Bond on Quillfish. Uh, not, unfortunately, to my, full, uh, to my fullest wanted effect, uh, but it's certainly a fun thing to do. It's, it's certainly like fun to troll your opponents like that. Uh, so Quillfish is definitely a mon I have discovered I really like using competitively. Um, another mon I kind of always knew that I used, liked using competitively is Umbreon. I just like I. Some people say say it's annoying, and that's fine. That's fine. I just fucking love that heal sub uh, toxic heal bell sort of combo, and really be able to stall out your opponents. It's I like to use, I like to use hacks and I like to use stall. Uh, so an Umbreon allows for both of those things, uh, that's really cool. Uh, I also like to use uh, attackers, like Tarantrum is a fun attacker to use. Uh, when I'm unique typing a Rocket Dragon. Uh, put a Dragon Claw and a Head Smash on a thing and it's really dangerous to deal with. Uh, I would also say that uh, Gardevoir is fun to use. Just a fast special attacker right there. And yet again, a fantastic typing, uh, Psychic Fairy. So yeah, I have a couple of mods I like to use uh, competitively. But right now, I'll say Quillfish. Uh, the next question comes from Raging Angron, our buddy Jinkus. He says, I got a couple of questions for you, my man. Well, good. Uh, more questions are always good. Uh, so number one, what game do you dislike the most? Um, most of the games I've played, I gotta say, uh, have been really good. Um, I have been spared from the real atrocities. Uh, of the gaming world, um, one thing, one, one game that I played that I didn't really didn't like was well, like old Harry Potter games for the DS and the Wii. You know, like not the old ones, not the like Chamber of Secrets and the and the Philosopher's Stone stuff. Th those were good. Those were good games. And I dare you to not. To, I, I will not. I will not hear otherwise. Those are excellent games. But I'm talking about like the Half Blood Prince and the Deathly Hallows and shit. Those were like really, really bad games, and like the mechanics sort of fucking sucked in them. <laughs> and you really couldn't do shit in it, uh, which sort of sucked. Um, and just, it wasn't a fun story. Like, I love the Harry Potter books and Harry Potter movies, uh, but the game didn't really do them justice. So I would say, like, those games would probably be the worst I play, but saying that, those weren't horrible games, like, at all. It just wasn't. It was just wasn't for me. Like objectively, sure, it's a fun game. It can be fun for some people. For me, it just wasn't. So that's the answer to that question, really. Uh, number two, what is the worst, worst, not worth, worst birthday gift you've ever gotten? Ah, uh, that is a difficult question because you really don't want to, like, think that a birthday present is bad because, like, a person has gone to a great extent to give you something that you love and you end up hating it. Uh, I'm hop I'm hoping that my relatives don't watch this because uh, that won't be fun. Uh, yeah, I, I just like, I guess just like really small stuff like for example a Care Bear at one birthday or just something else really small and another uh, would probably be the most boring thing I've ever gotten. Uh, but saying that, like, like 
going with those presents, I get more interesting presents that really made up for them. So I wouldn't say that I've gotten a horrible presents. I just got presents that were less good than those really awesome presents, you know? Uh, so they weren't bad at all. They were just not as much fun as other stuff. Um, the third question. If you could choose one band to see live that you haven't, what band would it be? Um, are you talking about live or dead band? Because if it's a current band that's playing right now, um, I would certainly love to go watch Owl City. Owl City is one of my favorite musicians of all time. He's got uh, he's got some really good songs. Uh, and really, some of those songs are like pretty important to me. Uh, so if he ever he ever came to somewhere close, an arena close to me, I would absolutely go. Um, a dead band that I would love to watch, like it. Not a dead band, but like a past band that I would love to watch is the Beatles. Uh, watch it, for example, watching them on the Ed Sullivan show, uh, being there, or just being on one of those like insane Beatles concerts. It would just be so much fun. And just like, not only because I love the band, I love the Beatles, but also because to experience that, that aspect of musical history, uh, because they really def redefined what music meant in the modern in a modern age really uh, so just getting to see them live and seeing what they were really like as a stage present uh, not present presents would be just really awesome in my opinion mm. and this last question is what is the saddest movie death you have ever seen on screen ooh that's a difficult one there's plenty of them I usually don't, don't cry to movies uh, I have a hard time doing that for some reason. I, may, I might be unemotional. I might just be like really bad at crying. It could be one of those. Um, but one death scene that I remember vividly uh, that I cried to was if you've ever seen this movie, the comedy movie Marley and Me, it's about like a dog uh, growing up with his family. Uh, basically, it's just an insane dog that just gets up to a whole bunch of crap. Uh, and eventually, spoiler alert, the dog dies. And the scene where he has to be put down uh, was always very emotional to me. I always cried to that scene, I couldn't watch it. Uh, I just... Yeah, I haven't gone back to that movie since because like, I don't want to watch that. I, want, I don't want to cry. I want to avoid that shit. Um, but no, I definitely have a close connection to dogs. I have a dog and I just love dogs in general. So just seeing a dog on screen dying is heartbreaking. Uh, another, another like movie death I I, did, I wouldn't say I cried about, but like definitely impacted my childhood was you know in the first Lord of the Rings movie where Gandalf died um, defeating the Balrog. Not only because it was uh, epic, but like that really hit me real hard because Gandalf, Gandalf is awesome. But like those two death scenes, I would say, would have impacted me the most in all of the movies I've seen at least. Okay, so next person with some questions uh, is Groot. He says, do you like Magic the Gathering? You know, I've never played Magic the Gathering, but it's something that I've always heard good rumors about. It's something that I've witnessed being played, and uh, it's something that I've seen the cards, so I know how, they, I know how the meta works. Uh, in that game, so it's really more about me actually sitting down and playing it, which I haven't, which I haven't yet. But if I ever get the opportunity to and get to learn more about it and it's, it's essentially get tutored in it, I would absolutely want to play it because it seems like just such a fun game. And um, honestly, one of the best card games um, to come out ever, really, I would say. So I would be super interesting, super interested in playing it. I just haven't already. And that's that's the, that's the answer to that. But thank you for the question, Kermit. Our final question is: um, Have you thought about focusing your channel on one aspect alone, uh, aka Pokemon, movies, anime? Because uh, the whole spread out thing is kind of weird since you bring people in for either one, one one thing and then you give them something else. Uh, personally, I fuck with it because I I get all three, but it might not be so for everyone. I definitely get your point. Um, I can definitely see why mixing them all together 
would sort of be unsymmetrical and not really the logical thing to do. Um, honestly, my thought process about it is that I want to do all three. And with the current state of the channel and where we are right now in our development curve, so to say, there's not really a need for me to to branch out and make different channels. That would be the logical solution to this. I want to have one channel where I would post Pokemon content and other Nintendo and game theories and stuff like that. I would have one, and I would have one channel with anime reviews, uh, discussions, and movie reviews, essentially. And um, I haven't really gotten to that point where I feel like I need to do that. Um, but if I ever feel like I do, and I actually could do that, then that's probably what I would do. Um, so yes, I thought about bran like branching out, but I want to do all. I didn't want to do all the things I do right now, and the solution to that would be branching out doing different channels, but that's not really what I'm planning to do, at least for the time being. It might be something that I could expand on in the future. Let me know what you think though. Do you think we, sh uh, we can have different channels? Uh, it would be very interesting to hear your feedback on that. But with that being said, that's all the questions. Uh, and that's really about it. If you don't have any questions, you can't do another video. Uh, <laughs> so anyway guys, I'm gonna get the hashtag out of here. Thank you guys for checking out the video. I just thank you for all the questions and thank you for sticking around on the channel. I know I don't say it a lot, but like just thank you in general. Like it's amazing that you're here and it's we're just gonna keep keep on going from here from this point on and just keep on expanding. Uh, and we're looking towards the future. I don't want to say I don't want to sound too poetic, but like I feel I feel I feel I feel um, hopeful about what we built so far. But with that being said, but what had all that mush mush out of the way, I'm gonna get the hashtag out of here. Thank you guys for checking out the video. Before, until, and after seeing you next time though, stay awesome.